Hi there, it's Q2 with all the flavors. Um, today we're gonna do a little nicotine titration. Basically we're gonna use a nicotine test kit to find out how accurate this, uh, this bottle I just got from Liquid Barn is. Uh, they say it's three milligrams per milliliter. We're gonna test it and find out. So I'm using this test kit that I got, um, I think from ECX. Yeah, from ecxpress.com. It's uh, basically this cup and a small container of bromothymol blue and a container of 0.1 N sulfuric acid. And uh, you can pick these up individually or you can pick them up at uh, any, almost any place that sells nicotine should have a test kit. I've got two syringes. I don't know if a syringe came with the kit or not, but they're relatively easy to come up with. These are three mil syringes. I've got the actual nicotine I'm testing here from Liquid Barn. I've got a container of distilled water. Um, it's just stuff you can buy at a grocery store or a drug store or anything else. And I've also got this large container of just tap water. Um, about a liter of it. It's there to dilute things. What I'm working with here, both of these are technically toxic, as is this one. None of them are very toxic, but being able to clean up quickly, it's, a, it's an important thing for me. So, this is probably gonna be easier than anyone who hasn't done it before expects. There are a few rules involved. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to use the blue testing solution and it acts as an indicator uh, whether something is pH high or pH low. Um, high means it's alkaline and low means it's acidic. So since nicotine is a, um, an alkali, it's a pH high. An acid is an acid, it's a pH low. We're gonna try to tune this so that um, we wind up with a neutral solution around pH seven. And this is a visual indicator. So when it's uh, alkaline, it turns blue. And when it's uh, neutral, it turns yellow. It's, it's really that simple. Um, how much of the bromothymol blue you add doesn't really matter because it's an indicator. It's not interacting with the with the, the chemicals. Uh, you are going to measure closely how much nicotine we add and how much sulfuric acid we add. How much water we add doesn't really matter. It's just a diluent. It just dilutes the whole thing and makes it easier to mix. So what we're really going to test for is um, how much acid it takes to neutralize a fixed amount of nicotine. We're gonna do one real quick and show you how it goes. And maybe we'll do another one after so you can get a better idea. I'm gonna take a clean syringe and I'm gonna drop three mils exactly. And what you're gonna find a lot of people become nervous about how much is left inside the needle. Don't be, because you're gonna see that when we're done here, I'm gonna flush all of this nicotine solution in. What was trapped in the needle is still trapped in the needle. We've got our three mils. I'm gonna rinse that right away. Up it in. Okay, now you can see uh, it's still perfectly clear. We're going to add this bromothymol blue. And again, how much we add doesn't really matter, except that the more we add, the stronger the color. So let's add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drops in. Put the cat back on. And you'll see that's already turned a bright blue. We're going to add a little bit of water. I don't know, 10, 15 mils. Just enough to make it easy to mix. It's 
tiny bit more. You can actually see that better than I can. I'll look at the screen instead of looking at my hands. So, we've got our three milligram, three, three milligram per milliliter nick, and we've added three grams, so we should have nine milligrams total. And that's making that blue. So I'm gonna take out the acid. Probably shouldn't be handling this with one hand, but I'm doing a video. And I'm gonna draw out about one mil. In fact, we want it to be exactly one mil. And then what we're gonna do is drip it into here slowly while mixing it. So you can see it's still blue, still blue, still blue, but a little more green, getting more green, getting more green, getting quite green there. There's still a blue tint to it though. Tiny bit more. Getting definitely yellow now. And there we go. It just went all the way to yellow. And what I've got left in here is just over a half mil. So that means with a half mil Because I'm using 0.1 N solution, I take that result, I multiply it by 16.223. Let me write this down in front of you guys so you can see me doing the math. If only I had a pen. So it's gonna be 0.52 uh, milliliters. And then it's going to be uh, 16.223. Can't see around my mic over here. And that's going to come to 8.5. Three, four, four. Now, because we started with three mils, we divide that by three. Three. We started with three milliliters of nicotine, and that comes out to two point eight, or within a very close tolerance of how much I can actually measure uh, using syringes. So, uh, three milligrams is pretty accurate. Not bad at all. Um, we divided by three there. I'm not sure if I explained it because we started with three milliliters of nicotine. Now I've got the remaining acid, so it's safe to put the acid back in. We're going to rinse it out right away. And we're done. Okay, I've, uh, I went and I immediately cleaned everything up um, just because, again, everything here is technically toxic. And I uh, wanted to make sure we controlled any spills or eliminated any risks. So that's taken care of. Um, quick recap, because I think that might've gone faster than people expected it to. Uh, what we did is we added three mils of the nicotine solution. Uh, we added eight drops of bromothymol blue, enough water to make it fluid. And then we dripped in acid until we found out how much acid it took to neutralize that amount of nicotine. Um, at that point it turns yellow and when it turns yellow uh, you calculate how much is left in the syringe versus how much you started with. We started with one mil and at the end we had uh, just under three mils left, uh, just under, sorry just under half a mil left and as a result my calculation was just over half a mil of one N sulfuric, 0.1 N sulfuric acid solution 
times 16.223 is just a magic number for uh, 0.1n solution. If you use 0.12n solution, like you get in a pool kit or something else, you need to use a different number there. But uh, that came out to uh, 8.4344 uh, 4, 4, and divided by three, because we started with three milliliters of elic, uh, sorry, three mils of uh, nicotine base, it comes to 2.8. Well, I hope that was helpful. Um, thanks for tuning in. Everything that I use here, well, I'll make some of it available in links down below. Um, if you click on them, it helps me out. Thanks a lot. Uh, please like and subscribe. And also, I should probably mention that All the Flavors is launching a subscription box. Um, if you're looking for a way to get a large number of sample flavors um, available every month, I'll include a link down below. Please go check it out. We're taking pre-orders right now. Um, if you sign up now, you'll get your first order should be the end of January, beginning of February. So uh, the more pre-orders we get, the, the larger the variety and the more interesting that first box is going to be. So um, please uh, like, subscribe, leave a message down below, and uh, check out the links. Take a look at allthefavors.com. There'll be more videos coming very soon. Bye.